hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of creative movie poster designing so what i have done here let's see here i just i'm turning off all the things so here is my image that means the movie poster so this one is background i took a background and then i'm turning off all the things so one by one and i'll show you the process okay at first i took a background uh, like that and then the hill with the tree and dodge burning process and then color lightening and then the another hill side and dodge burning as well then the fake light and then the shadow for the girl this one actually not like that here here and then here and this portion this portion and then the rain like that and the color correction so i'll copy this color and i'll give you that color link in my video description color code link and you can use that color to your photography or your design and then another one and the credits that means the cast and crew and here again the gradient and then the text with the effects and my logo and then i merge it out and then cross processing filter on the nick collection so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and new options and i'll take a new canvas which is like a4 size or letter size whatever you can use so this one and hit the create button you'll get the background and then you can unlock this one by pressing one time and go to the file and place embedded options from here i'll just insert this one the background like that so sky so i can make it bigger so like that yeah this is good and hit the ok button right press and restylize the layer and then go to the file and place embedded options from here i'll just insert this one so i'll place it out over here and right press and flip horizontal and i'll make it bigger like that and place it out over here so right press and crystallize this one and then right press again and convert the smart object and double press this one and i'll cut down the sky from here so i'll go to the quick selection tool and select this portion and i'll make it and cut down another portions so this portion as well and this portion as well so lift this portion so deselect this portion and select it after that go to the select option and inverse this one and it will select and here select this area as well and here this portion be careful when you are selecting this one and then mask it out and right press and select and mask options and from here make it smooth a little bit and here so just hit the ok button the mask is refined and is control s and it will save in this portion so now i'll place over here so go to this one this guy to the file options and place embedded from here i'll insert this one and make it bigger like that so i'll place it over here and hit the tick button and right press and restylize the layer again i'll make it convert to smart object and i'll cut the sky and i'll keep only this portion so go to the quick selection tool and select this portion and this portion as well so here here so mask it out and after masking that right press and select and mask options and make it like smooth and radius like that and hit the ok button so mask is smooth now and press ctrl s and it will save this window and it will make more realistic like that so after that now i'll place the model so go to the file and open up 
now i'll open this girl and i'll cut it down from the background so at first i'll crop it out and you can crop it out yeah after that go to the select and color range from here fuzziness make it zero like that or select here in a white portion this one will be cut or separate from the background and make the fuzziness or haziness like that and here so select here this portion the plus sign and hit ok so it will select and then go to the select option again and invert this one this one will select and then go to the quick selection tool and select this portion go to the path option select this one and go to the path options and make this one the path so this path will select it and it will help you out to make this one more amazing so here i'm going to the layers again and select this path that means it's selected and now you can make it more precisely cut down from the background so this portion so almost done now mask it out and after that refine the mask how to do that right press and select and mask options so i'll make it black that means transparent background like this or this yeah this portion is good and now i'll add some feather and make it smooth like that and smart radius like that needs shifting like that and i'll save this one so remember these settings and here select new layer with the layer mask and hit ok so right press and apply layer mask it will be like that and here i'll take this and press ctrl t and make it smaller like that right press and make it horizontal and place over here so hit the tick button and i'm just closing those windows i'll save it out and i'll provide you this png or psd whatever you want so here the girl and here is my hill so i'll select this one yeah that's good and i'll make it a little bit smaller not this make the girl a little bit smaller like that yeah that's good so that's fine so one portion here now uh, is if i turn it off here is some like uh, hills so rocks and i'll cut it out and make it like uh, another layer so select go to the quick selection tool and select this portion yeah that's fine now press ctrl g it will make another layer i'm deleting this portion and i'll take it in upper side and now like that so you are getting like uh, here is the girl and it's just she just stand up behind the like a uh, stone so like that i'll just make it like that and now select this portion and take a new blank layer and go to the brush tool here the brush and make it like black and make this one smaller like that and make the opacity like 50 or 47 like that and select once here select once here so that's good and that's fine now i'll add the like a dodge and burning process so i'm select this one like that yeah that's good and shadow will be like this so i'll add another shadow like that so go to the brush tool and select here and here that's good the shadow will be like that and yeah, that's fine so and select this one and take a new blank layer and then right press and create clipping mask and after that go to the edit options and go to the fill options from here 50 percent gray and make the blending mode to overlay and i'll apply the dodge burning process select this one here is dodge burning option burn for the shadow and dodge for the highlight so here i'll add some shadow like that before that you have to add the light from coming in the right side so 
select here take a new blank layer and go to the brush options and take the first one brush and pick color from here i'll give the color like that yellowish color and select once before that you have to make the opacity 100 percent and flow 100 percent and make it bigger like that that's good and make it a screen and place it in a downside of the model yeah that's fine and that means the light is coming from the right side so this portion that means the right side will be like highlighted and the back side will be shadow so from here dodge burning process the burn process here will be black more black so add some shadow so that's good when you are giving that shadow be careful otherwise it could be spoiled so in a here portion this portion this portion and then now apply the dodge so this portion the front side so this area so add some burn process in a dress that's good in this portion and now one of the shadow will just appear over here so select here and take a new blank layer and go to the brush options and make it reset that means black color and make it zoom and give some shadow like that before that you have to down the opacity and flow and just draw something like that so it will be more like the shadow just here so go to the filter and go to the blur options and make it like gaussian blur so a little bit blurry like that yeah that's fine so here go to the delete options so i'll erase this portion the shadow actually so not here here actually that's good and this one just uh, take a new blank layer again and make it overlay and go to the edit and fill options 50 percent gray and now i'll apply the dodge burn over here as well so here is the dodge tool and just dodge this one so make it clipping mask so that's fine that's good and this rock is just like that and this one as well i'll take another blank layer and make it overlay blending mode and go to the edit and fill color and make it 50 percent gray and then again dodge option over here here and here over here and the this heel so take another new blank layer and make it clipping mask and make it clipping mask create yeah this one and go to the edit option make it fill and 50 percent gray like that and make it overlay so now i'll apply that dodge here this portion and the burn portion i'll apply over here so it will be more precisely like shadow and highlighting it will be like that yeah that's fine so i had a color code and i'll apply this one from here just go to the adjustment and go to the solid color and ctrl v for the paste and right press and make it soft light so you're getting the color like that so i'm just making group all the layers like here yeah that's fine you're getting color like that yeah that's good it's like that okay then go to the file and place embedded options place it out over here and make it smaller like that and hit the tick button and go to the blending mode and make it a screen like that and then i'll write down something over here that is the lyra so we stylize this layer and go to the text tool and write down this one and i'll provide you this i'll provide you the font link in my video description so i'll make it bigger like that and just place over here right press and blending options from here go to the color gradient overlay and make it like 90 percent actually 90 degree actually so 90 degree like that and make it reverse like that and make it 
yeah i'll make it white color uh yellowish color will be best for this one so like this yeah that's good that's fine and add some drop shadow like that and another one place here yeah and you can just make it fine tuning if you want this one actually yeah that's good and here drop shadow one drop shadow here so hit the ok button and one drop shadow i'll make it the opposite down and hit ok i'll add some color correction to the model so select this model that means this one and go to the filter and camera filter from here i'll do the color adjustment from here so how to do that i'll make it zoom like that and i'll make it highlight like that the highlight this one add some shadow like that and go to the camera calibration and make the color like that green color will be like that and color will be like this so that's fine and hit okay so it will make more amazing or make more prominent this one and this one actually um, the sky here so go to the filter again and camera filter and then the green i'll go to the hsl panel and make the green down and the saturation will be like that and hue i'll make it hue like that so that's fine and hit the ok button so it will make your photo more like uh, amazing so i'll select all the groups and i'll take a screenshot from here go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 Nick collection uh, color effects pro 4 this one is the plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of these please check out my video description i'll provide the download link over here so i'm using the cross processing and from here you have lots of methods or other stuffs you can use one of them so i'm using here in this case i will use this one i'll select this one and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's loading up and almost done yeah you are getting these effects so you're getting a movie poster easily and you just got lots of things from here hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i'm asmr signing out today and bye bye